What's up everyone, Dr. Jacob Wilson here. Today I'm gonna to talk about increasing the calorie burn with carbohydrates post-exercise. So listen, if this is your first time to the channel, if you like this content, make sure you hit that like button. Um, if you um, uh, really wanna support the channel, the best way you can do is to share this content. Um, also check out the muscleph.com. So listen, listen, here's the thing. One of the things that people are terrified of especially bodybuilders are consuming carbohydrates, right? And basically one of the reasons why is because when we eat carbs, we have this feeling that we're gonna gain fat. We're gonna gain fat, okay? So how can we prevent that? Well, part of it is timing. A really classic study, in fact, this was done all the way back in 2003. And what they did was they, this, this researcher, she looked at the, what's called thermic effect of food. And she gave carbohydrates post-exercise as opposed to at rest. She, thermic effect of food is when we raise metabolism following consuming food. Now, normally, you don't burn many calories when you consume a carbohydrate. But what she found is that post-exercise, the thermic effect or the calorie burn effect of carbs went up 73%, okay? Almost 75%, right, if you round up. So consuming carbohydrates post-exercise as opposed to rest increased the thermic fat burning effect, uh, calorie raising effect by 73%. That's huge. Now. This means a lot of things. One, it supports the fact that if I'm gonna do carbohydrates on a low carb diet, that targeted carbohydrates might be the way to go. Because if I consume them around my workout, they'll be used as energy, but also it will actually spike my metabolism as well compared to at rest. So it means I'm less likely to store it. Also, we know from old school research, even all the way back to the 80s, like IV in I think 1988, old school research basically show that if I consume carbohydrates around my workout, I will replenish glycogen or carbohydrate source at a much higher rate. So if I'm limiting my carbohydrates, consuming them around uh, my workout in a targeted way will limit the fat gain that I can get carbs, probably eliminate it altogether. It's a good targeted way. My friend, Dr. Jordan Joy, we published a study where we actually found that having carbs around the workout, at least a small amount, 20, 10 to 20 grams, actually didn't knock you out of ketosis when it was around the workout. And it's a good way to replenish glycogen stores without really spiking insulin because adrenaline suppresses that. So guys, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.